to Redshift. This is Pro Tips for Propagandists. These are short segments where I talk about cognitive biases, logical fallacies, and rhetorical tools to better empower you to be a more effective advocate. Now we're going to talk about a common misconception that people have, and that misconception is that people generally arrive at their worldview through a process of rational contemplation. This is false. The truth is that we understand the world around us through narrative. Now a narrative is an essential cognitive tool for establishing temporal relationships, i.e. past, present, future, and meaning between events, i.e. because of A, therefore B. A narrative is at the core of group and individual psyche, as evidenced by mythology, history, and personal identification. Mythology is a great example because these stories, while not necessarily true, have a tendency to survive for many generations uh, because of her high affinity for storytelling, as opposed to the individual facts which uh, you know tend to be disconnected and not necessarily have clear causal relationships we also see this very clearly in historiography that is the process by which histories are written so when you have extremely complex situations with very complex explanations uh, wars being a great example the first and second world war probably being the most well known these extremely complex events are usually condensed down in history to having very clear and distinct starts and conclusions as well as having very simplified causes and effects. Now, while not necessarily true to reality, this has a tendency to be the preferred method of understanding these events. And when I say personal identification, I mean that typically when we think of ourselves, we do so in a way where we consider our own past, what we're doing in the present, and what our plans for the future are, we put ourselves within the context of a greater story. So let's talk a little bit about the consequences of the narrative bias, the topic of this discussion. The fact that we have this affinity for storytelling as opposed to unrelated facts gives us a high affinity for falsely attributing causal and meaningful relationships to independent data. And this is reinforced through other cognitive biases <clears throat> in order to maintain an established narrative. It also means that people have extreme difficulty to rationally evaluate their viewpoints. And so the big takeaway from this is that the uh, dialectic, the rational discourse pioneered by Socrates, which leads to a more rational understanding of the world around us and finding some sort of ultimate truth is completely unnatural. So if your objective is to persuade, you need to remember that your argument needs to either be framed within your target audience's existing narrative, or you need to very carefully find ways to disarm the natural defenses we have against anything which challenges that worldview.